nobody cares about you. And this is not depressing or stressful, this is rather relieving and very much freeing. In psychology, we call this the spotlight effect. So you always feel like the spotlight is on you. Everybody looks at you. And if you do something great, everybody sees it. If you do something negative, everybody sees it. But in fact, it's not like that. Though, if you look at it from an evolutionary perspective, it makes sense that you always check if anybody cares, you know? In the past, thousands of years ago, it was threatening if somebody doesn't like you. So you really gotta make sure that in your group, people care about you and that other people like you. That's why you have this tremendous focus on how people perceive you and whether they like you. But well, people are so much in their me, 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 me story that they don't realize that it's too much. They take everything personal, it's raining. Why is this happening to me? It's traffic, why is this happening to me? And some people, they might even be able to break out of this, but those people especially don't judge. Well, the point here is now, if people look at you weirdly, maybe people look at me now, I'm shooting this video, like what kind of nut is he? Maybe some people think that, or in general, you're doing something embarrassing. They might be like, oh, what is he doing? This is kind of weird, like what kind of nut is that? He's weird. Five seconds later, um, yeah, anyway, I'm late. What about me, me, me? Because everybody is so self-centered. You're that, everybody else is that. So you think, oh, what do people think about me? But they just care about themselves. And yes, they might look at you and think, oh, this is weird, or this is dumb, or I don't like this. But then after a few seconds, after a minute, they're like, anyway, what about me? Think about that. Your perception towards others is always very different. When I was rather young, I smoked like three, four cigarettes. And personally, I found this cool. I was like, yeah, I'm that shit. Until I realized, wait, if I look at other people smoking, I don't think like that. I'm just like, okay, they're smoking, that's, that's fine, but who cares? And I thought I'm so cool. And when I realized that, I was like, okay, I don't like it anyway, let's stop it. And it's the same with all other stories. People perceive you differently, they don't care about you so much, they think about you for a sec few seconds, and then they're back about themselves. Now, you understood this maybe, and now you got an aha moment, and like, oh damn, that's right. I want you to additionally do an exercise. Go to Starbucks and order something, but when you're in the queue and it's your turn, wait for five seconds. People might be angry, say, hey, what are you doing here? Order something now. It's just five seconds, and after one minute, they're back in their game, they're back in their life. See that. You can do something else, you can go out in public and shoot a video, people are looking at you. That's kind of really pressures coming up, but that's okay. Also do something that is really not disrespecting other people. And understand that and get into this thinking style that people don't care so much about you as you think. And why do we want this? because you limit yourself, you can't really live up your authentic self, what you actually want to do. And now you're free if you understand that and you can live up your authentic self and also share the gift that you have within you with all the other people around you.